Government Deputy House Leader. Questions? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, you know, the member talked about Canadians not trusting their government and Canadians uh, having concern over being able to trust institutions. But I'm wondering how much of a role he believes that he plays in that. Because he comes in here and he talks about corruption and this government's being corrupt and they're just filling the pockets of their insiders and he talks about GC strategies. But meanwhile, GC strategies, Madam Speaker, used to operate under the company name Cordell. And they operated under that company name when the Conservatives were in government. So for him to suggest that corruption. these are some kind of liberal insiders is That's just completely false. Crap. Anybody who says that is lying because it's not true. So I'm wondering if the member can tell this House what role he plays in bringing forward these um, ideas and in misinformation and informing Canadians to purposely pit them against the institutions that he said a constituent was told, raised a concern with him about. That's a good point. The Honourable Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. I think it has become increasingly clear across this country that Canadians are sick and tired of those Liberals. And the, their Sir, I want to remind the Honourable Member uh, who is uh, yelling out uh, her comments that if she wishes uh, order, that if she wishes to uh, participate in the debate, she should wait till questions and comments. The Honourable Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. So for that member to somehow suggest that uh, calling for accountability is uh, anything other than the very basic job that a, parliamentary, uh, that a parliamentarian or a parliament should do exposes to all Canadians the problem that exists within that party. Madam Speaker, Canada deserves better than the corruption that that member supports.